Hello, and welcome to Meek Hibiscus. When I was very little, I used to play games on my family's Windows 3.1 computer. It used really big floppy disks. One of those games that I played was Word Rescue. Word Rescue is an educational game slash platformer created by Karen Crowther and Bud Pembroke in 1992. This game was available to play through shareware which featured one episode. This was the version I played when I was little. If you play the full game there are three episodes. If you want to improve your reading this is the game for you. These creatures called the Gruzzles can't read and they suffer from tall poppy syndrome. They want to prevent people from being able to read so they decide to steal the words from every single book. Benny Bookworm enlists your help to reunite the words with their meanings. To do this, you need to match the words with their pictures in each level. Then Benny can use his worm magic to put them back into the books and give you a key to the next level. It says here that Benny is your friend and will protect you, but if a gruzzle catches you, it will take away the words you have collected. So you need to be on your toes and press the space bar so Benny can sign the gruzzles. No problem! You are prompted to enter your name. This acts like your save file. You can choose to be a boy or a girl. Usually in older games, you don't get a choice of gender. So I always said that I was a girl with short hair. There are three difficulties for different age groups to choose from. I remember always playing on easy, but I'll choose hard now because I'm a big kid. How hard can this kid's game be? Here is the first level, say in the main street of Gruzzleville. So essentially, you're invading the Gruzzle's hometown. What do you think you're doing? You need to jump up and hit the question mark blocks, a la Super Mario Brothers, to reveal the word you need to find the picture for. As well as joining the pictures and the words together, you can collect books for extra points and yellow letters scattered around the level. Collect them in the correct order to spell the word at the bottom of the screen. You can collect buckets of slime to refill your slime meter, but I always remember never running out of slime in this game. The controls are pretty straightforward for a kid's game. Use the arrow keys to move around and the up key to jump. Some people have a problem using the up key to jump, but in this game, your character has a really huge jump, so it's easy to move about the levels. Watch out! If you choose the wrong word, a gruzzle appears. Never fear, you can summon Benny to slime them by pressing the space bar. If you get hit by a gruzzle, some scary music plays. And Benny swoops in and takes you away with his umbrella, Mary Poppins style. That music really frightened me as a kid. But don't worry, just keep on sliming. It is quite satisfying sliming gruzzles. It's fun to press the space bar when there are no gruzzles on screen. Just to see Benny shrug his shoulders. Ha, <laughs> stupid Benny. You will also encounter danger pits. These are easily cleared with your super jumping powers. But they always made me feel nervous when I was little because of the risk of hearing that dreadful music again. When you match all of the pictures with the correct words, Benny appears with his umbrella and magically transfers all of the words back into his book. He looks like a teacher checking off your work. I hope I didn't get any of them wrong. Thank you, Benny! Benny then gives you a key and floats away on his umbrella. Then it's up to you to find the door to the next level. There are a good variety of levels to navigate, such as rocky waterfalls, castle levels, big trees, slime factories and even Mexican looking levels. They offer new layouts and challenges such as buildings to wander around in, slime pits, dripping slime taps to avoid and big ladders to climb. This girl has some mad ladder climbing skills. Whoa, look at this gruzzle. It's chasing me. I guess that's why this girl needs her mad ladder skills. 
Ah, another level finished. Hey, Benny's not very nice. He makes me stand on candles while I wait patiently for him to finish his book magic. Ouch! Alright, this level's done and dusted. I just need to get to the door. Ah, these gruzzles, they're doggy guarding it. I have to get them to chase me so they'll move away from the door. Ah, this game is harder than I remember. I keep getting hunted down by gruzzles. Hey Benny, why aren't you helping me? Oh, you have to face the gruzzle to slime it. Look at this! I've got no slime left and I can't even get to the first question block. How am I meant to collect more slime to defend myself? Ah, I just keep on dying and dying. Ah, I give up. I'm going to lower the difficulty to easy. What? There's only one gruzzle per level on easy? No wonder I don't remember this game being very hard. On hard mode, there's probably about eight gruzzles per level and there is not enough slime buckets. Well, if you continue playing the other episodes, you will come across caves, haunted houses, and more factories, castles, and big trees. I played episode two and three on normal difficulty and had a more relaxed time completing levels. I encountered a new spider gruzzle, new words and pictures, and I even saw a Mickey Mouse ripoff picture. In the factory stage, there's a really creepy looking moon. Uh oh! The blood moon rises once again. Please be careful, hibiscus. I've really enjoyed replaying Word Rescue. It's been a huge nostalgia trip for me. I think the graphics were good for the time, and the pictures you have to match with the words are clear and make sense. The music is okay. The songs are a variation on a 12 bar blues theme, but the same tunes keep repeating. This game is a fun platformer to play, but after a while it becomes a bit samey. You even have to find some of the same words again. The difficulty curve between easy and hard is too steep. Perhaps the difficulty could have been increased by having to find longer words instead of adding more gruzzles to each level and decreasing how much slime can be collected from slime buckets. I think it's a fun game for kids to play and for adults to have a quick nostalgia trip. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video! Did you play this game as a kid? If not, what other edutainment games did you play? Let me know in the comments below! See you next time! Bye bye!